The horror movie franchise that has folks screaming is about to make you jump in your seat again. If you like scary movies, I have just the thing. Hi, I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching. It's a good old fashioned ghost movie that brings the storyline to the very beginning of the franchise as a prequel in Paranormal Activity 3. What is going on? Hey, Christy. I saw you talking to somebody. I know. He's very sweet. He's my friend. I don't see him. He's staring right next to you. Honey, he's not there. The movie, which is cast with unknown actors, is about two young sisters who were adults in the previous films. And now, in this film, they share a two-level home with their mother and her boyfriend. And the girls, they are aware of this ghostly presence in the house. The adults, at first, are not. Hey, Christy, you want to say hi? Come on, give, a, give, give us a wave here, Christy. Whatever happened to us when we were little, I don't remember anything. Whatever it was, it thrived on fear. The more we paid attention to it, the worse it got. Now, the boyfriend has a video background, so the house has cameras running all the time, day and night. How convenient, right? And the suspense builds as we watch the surveillance type video to notice any subtle changes, waiting for a ghost to appear. But there are long stretches where nothing happens, but the payoff is there. When a, there's a series of clunky videotape chills and spills and thrills. This is not simply about Christy. This is connected to your side of the family. It definitely knows about her. You know, there was a time when the Saw films of gore and dismemberment ruled the genre, but the Paranormal Activity franchise has changed all that by bringing the audience in. Most people can relate to things they have heard but not seen maybe at night or experience the boo factor. Thus, the monster you fear is really worse than the monster you see. Did you hear that? It's okay. I was scared. Getting out of here. Okay. Just get in the car and drive. With this being a prequel, we kind of know where the story's going. So the storyline has been weak. The characters are experiencing paranormal activity for the first time, but the folks who have seen it for the first two films are not. The sudden shock and odd musical chords add to the fright, but the long wait for something to happen in silence dragged the film down. So the flickometer gives paranormal activity three. A three out of five. This entity or ghost is really just a bad house guest who spends way too much time working on the next gotcha moment. The first film was somewhat groundbreaking, but now in Paranormal Activity 3, it's getting to be a bit old. So now you know before you go. Hey, we're trying to be social here on the show. Like us on Facebook by typing in The Brett Side. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching this FlickedUp.com review.